Hello and welcome to a Blood and Pigment ship review. We're here talking about the Heavy Bark, which is one of the alternate rig options for the sloop. I'm Joseph. I am Guy. And I'm Dan. The Heavy Bark is, as its name states, a larger, heavier version of the Bark. It has one large square sail instead of the four and aft rig, which the sloop usually uses. In this game, it costs 14 points. The Heavy Bark's max speed is four. It has sail settings at 4 inches, 2 inches, 0, and anchored. Its windward value is negative 1, and it has a turn value of 4. It takes 18 hits to drop this ship to 1 fortitude. The rigging of the heavy bark has fortitude 3 and integrity 4. The ship's draft is 5. The heavy bark's front deck can hold up to 27 models, and the rear deck can hold up to 12. This ship's front deck can hold three pairs of light or medium cannons, and the rear deck can have four swivel guns. The forward deck can also have two swivel guns. The heavy bark has the traits simple rig and sweeps two, and it cannot take any upgrades. So this is a sloop that is a little bit tougher than a regular sloop, but it loses its ability to go windward. Right, basically a hybrid between the bark and the sloop, although it's even tougher than a bark or a sloop. So, yeah, it's kind of a weird little ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's a chunky sloop. Yeah, that six uh, in four, uh, integrity that lasts you a good while. So if you want to do a cannon duel and use your sloop pole, this is a pretty good option. It can take a beating, but you can still mount those three cannons. I've used this ship quite a bit. Yeah, it actually has the same durability as a brigantine, flout, sloop of war, and merchant frigate. I checked. Wow, yeah. And it keeps that four-inch turn even though it's square-rigged. Something not a lot of square-rigged ships do. Right. It's the meme of the cat flying down saying, I'm a speedy, chunky boy. That, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't have to make that now. I think I also like how this model looks with that one sail. It kind of seems like the rest of the ship d is missing something, but I do like one big sail on the main deck. It's wonderfully simple. I built mine up, and I put a little top sail on it. I thought that looked cool, and then somebody told me, what defines a bark is it has no top sail. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? It's a pirated one. They added that. <laughs> <laughs> so to build this rig, it's pretty Easy. So if you get a sloop um, kit from Firelock, it'll come with a sloop rigging, which is the big uh, gaff sail. Is that right? Yeah, gaff sail. It doesn't come with the pieces necessary to really make it a heavy bark, but it's very simple. You just need a tall main mast and then a larger cross piece. What's the cross piece called? Cross tree. Cross tree. One big cross tree, and you can just you use wooden pieces and maybe make it work, or you can just use string and lash them together, and it works pretty good. So of all the alternate rigs, this is the very easiest one to put together. It does lose something going into a heavy bark, though. Its windward penalty of negative one inch means that you, you're going as slow as a other square rig ships without the benefit of going five inches. It's uh, not terrible, but it is has worse speed than a regular sloop. Yeah, that lack of a penalty for the sloop is insane. You can just buzz around everywhere and cross the wind really easy. So, yeah, you have to consider the wind in this ship much more than the standard sloop, which can be kind of fun. Well, sometimes when I'm playing the sloop, I can just pretend the wind doesn't exist half the time, which <laughs> kind of takes away the nautical feel. But it is a disadvantage, too. Yeah, I was going to say, the sloop just believes the wind doesn't exist. This ship requires the wind to exist. Especially since this ship can't do the easy tack that the sloop can, where you you start at the with the wind abeam and you turn four inches enough to, or you turn into windward and then you, you cross the eye of the wind using your four inch turn without using a, a tacking maneuver. This ship cannot do that because it only moves three inches. You'll end up in the eye of the wind. Right. So let's compare the traits real quick to see where it actually differs. They both have sweeps to a sloop and a heavy bark. That's not used a whole lot since the sails are so good. Both have simple rig. That means that you can uh, change your sail setting 
with a normal action rather than dedicated. But then the sloop has the fore and aft, which means your tacking is better, but you can't box haul where the heavy bark just lacks that. So not good at tacking, but it can do the box haul maneuver. So that's maybe how you could cross the wind a little bit faster, <laughs> but it's riskier. Box hauling is really fun to do anyways. It you is. can also, you can't buy shallow draft with a heavy bark. So darn. <laughs> you have a five. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's not good. So all in all, the heavy bark is essentially a chunkier sloop that cares more about the wind. It's just as heavily armed with the six swivel guns and then the three lighter medium guns. It retains most of the traits of sloop, just that, you know, it, the wind actually exists for this ship. It's a great starter ship. It's great if you're doing not very aggressive maneuvers. And I think it actually fits well into the, the Firelock meta. Everybody should have a sloop. And this is an easy way to actually have a... You can either re-rig it or have your mass pull off and all of a sudden you have a second ship without having to pay more for it. That's a good deal. New way to play. Yes, it is. For more Blood and Plundership overviews, you can go over to bloodandpigment.com and check out all our written articles there. We have articles covering ships and nations and factions and terrain building and painting guides and product reviews and battle reports. Check it out there. Check out the rest of our YouTube channel as well. We'll be aiming to put out a video every Monday. Subscribe and ring the ship's bell so you can stay notified of our uploads. And as always, keep your dice ready and the wind at your back, your har.